Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All right, so Cancer, looks like a, some personal issue of yours will be resolved. Looks like you may be internalizing a lot of stuff that's going on around you. Um, don't internalize the external. Whatever is happening around you is for a reason and it's not necessarily because of you or something you did or you didn't do. Um, make sure that you are processing emo your emotions oh, fully, completely and accurately. Um, this is a time also where you might need to kind of sidestep whatever it is you're trying to go after. You might need to go after it sideways. Don't go straightforward or this is how somebody is approaching you to where they um they're not telling you their true intentions okay so um and their true intentions could be that they want to balance things out with you that they want truth honesty clarity that they want to make some some big changes with you some irrevocable changes like there's no going back like this could be proposal moving in together making a big purchase, going into business with someone. But whomever this is, they want balance. Somebody feels as if they owe you. This could be someone you are married to, you have children with, or someone who you just have a really deep, strong bond to or, or with. Someone who you feel addicted to. Even when you feel like you want to walk away, it's very hard for you to walk away. So hard that you feel like you need to talk to someone, a medicine woman, a medicine man, a therapist, a psycho. And those are all people who would be in, in old days, they would be called medicine women or men. You need to talk to someone about your emotions, um, about how you just bandaged up the emotions, but they may have not healed. And the healing may need to come because maybe you dealt with a person or you're dealing with a person who's draining they drain your peace of mind they drain you you know of um serenity of peace they they also you also may feel like you lost something here there's a loss here or you feel like you were swindled or there was actual cheating and just deception here there is theft you feel like someone took something from you or is taking something from you and you need to heal from that. You need to heal from that even wanting to be, possibly wanting to still be involved with someone who could have done those things, who uh, maybe, yeah, someone who could have done those things to you, you still possibly want to be with them or vice versa. You've done those things to someone else and they want to still be with you. Um, you have a lot of cards that talk about timing okay so we have a card that says i don't have a i don't have time okay and then we have a not the right time and then perfect timing so it's like something is transpiring for you something could have prematurely transpired but it was not the right time okay so maybe you jump back into something you start communicating with someone you went and saw somebody or whatever the dynamic is um it, it's, it just wasn't the right timing you had to wait for perfect timing and it looks like the perfect timing could be around um this new moon in aries and that's going to take place on the 12th april 12th today is the 7th april 7th it's so funny that you pull this card this card talks about of course bringing new energy to you it talks about this is specifically a card where it talks about maybe uh not maybe but witches and warlocks and people who and magicians they do a lot of work on the new moon around the new moons so some new start look at that look what card also you pull some new start is coming to you you got the new moon <laughs> And you have a specifically happening in Aries, which will be on April 12th, which is so, so in sync. Um, I had to look it up. I knew a new moon was coming when I pulled the cards, but then I got my phone out. And I said, okay, the new moon, is it in Aries? And it is in Aries. So something significant and di dynamic is happening for you. These, both of these cards talk about a new start. 
letting the past go, whatever transpired in the past, you have to really release it. Especially if you want new starts, if you want newness, you have to really have that irrevocable change or make that irrevocable change in your life. It's time, once again, something about time. It's time to take action. And it looks like you could possibly be taking action around a new moon or someone, maybe an Aries will be taking action uh, towards you or a husband-like figure or father figure will be taking action towards you or around a new moon. You could have had an Aries father or you have an Aries father. Um, something, it could be a new start to a relationship. This card specifically talks about maybe a new person, a new man entering your life. Um, and he could really help you. And there could be a lot of romance. You pull the romance card. This is a specific relationship that's coming into your life. Now, if you're asking about the relationship you're in, or maybe there's a little funky energy around the relationship that you, you're kind of teeter-tottering in because you do have the frivolity card. So if there's a relationship where it's irregular, it's always changing, somebody's hot and cold, they're fickle, they're telling you that this is a significant relationship, a significant romance, maybe even a soulmate. Things will shape up, change, um, especially with all this newness here. Uh, the new moon, the, the new moon is going to be significant for you. I don't know if you're dealing with a witch or a warlock or you are one, but they're about to pull you right to them. Um, and and uh, what they could be asking from you is for forgiveness within the next few weeks uh, because someone wants you to trust them again or vice versa you want someone to trust you again whatever is transpiring here you need to listen to your intuition make sure that you are operating in confidence okay and not in that um not in a in a, an opposing manner to yourself with the enemy card here of where you are um, self-doubting you know, you have self-doubt. Know that you, you, you can have what you want. You just have to be confident, and that's the key to success here. Uh, putting yourself once again another new moon, um, a new moon in Leo. This could be coming around July. You need to be confident enough to have these new starts because they're here for you. And if there's something you need to heal from, like cheaterization, yep, yeah, that's my new word. Um, or someone being uh, not so great to you or someone uh, draining you, maybe even of resources um, or just your peace of mind, you need to go and speak to somebody about that because that will show up in another relationship if you don't. Once again, you got money at the bottom of the deck. So we see an increase here happening for you, which is great. Um, it talks about good luck, good fortune. Uh, money coming into you something about initiation your intuition passing a test loyalty faithfulness is here for you um, someone could be saying that they are they're going to be faithful they want you to know that you're absolutely beautiful or you want someone else to know that at the bottom of the deck you do have look cheater and i'm tired of being a husband or a wife so maybe that's why they walked out of this relationship but now you have someone wanting to come back and be old faithful to you someone who is pulling you back towards them with these new starts these uh new moons here could be dealing with the leo I have a lot of leo here um It looks like somebody's addicted to you or you to them. It just looks like it could all come together. And um, they just want you to keep in mind, do not personalize um, issues, okay? Um, make sure that when you get all this attention and this person comes back to you, you treat people fairly because there could be a time where you are going to get a lot of attention because you are absolutely beautiful. Um, they want you to remain humble. Uh, this is what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. So it looks like you have some issues you need to deal with from the past. Also, you could be meeting somebody out while you're running errands. 
while you're doing something or you or you met somebody while you were running errands or you were running around or it was it was a surprise meeting and you also could be meeting someone surprisingly or you'll meet your person um, maybe the person that you have in mind you'll meet them while you're out especially if you guys are separated um, or, or you're just not spending a lot of time together or you don't have a lot of time to spend because somebody's saying like I don't have a lot of time um, it looks like something is going to come together for you, okay? In the perfect timing, okay? You're going to have a lot of newness, okay? And romance. Um, but it doesn't come without forgiveness. Either you asking for it or you giving it to someone else. And you have to trust the process and trust yourself. And if you're dealing with somebody right now, you might need to sidestep them and you could possibly be sidestepping, sidestepping them, not coming at them fully and completely uh, not telling them your true intentions. And your true intentions, this is supposed to be an oracle reading, but I had to pull some tarot because I was confused. Somebody's true intentions could to be to present you with a new start, a new foundational start that you guys will grow from really sever ties with the past, move forward, see things clearly, make that change, that life altering change, really walk into the door of newness because someone wants to do the right thing, level the playing field, be fair, be just with you or vice versa. This is what you want with them. And it's definitely separation here from someone who you really want to be with or they really want to be with you. They could have been a cheater. But forgiveness is on the table. It's up for you. It's up to you. So, Cancer, I hope that this uh, oracle reading resonated for you. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to the website. Book your own oracle reading. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Also, you could donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. That is much appreciated if you choose to do so. Take care, Cancer.